Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing an IKEA hacks or IKEA DIYs um, video and it's all about home decor, things that you can do in and around your home. Today's video is also a collaboration with my lovely friend Lisa. I've watched Lisa's channel for so so long and followed her on Instagram. I have been there through her whole journey through Instagram. She has two gorgeous boys, Vinny and Renzo, and a lovely husband called Mark. They are just such a lovely, lovely family. Lisa does some lovely videos very similar to mine so she does cleaning videos hauls just family life vlogs I just really enjoy watching her channel and if you haven't seen her channel I'm sure you would love it as well so make sure you go across and watch her video because she's also doing three other hacks and they are amazing so without further ado I'm going to get into my hacks and I really hope that you enjoy them Okay, so first up is this DIY floral centerpiece. You will need an IKEA bowl. I went for this one because it's nice and deep and also really wide. It was around four pounds, so really, really cheap as well. I picked up these flowers from IKEA as well. Again, they were relatively cheap. I went for a lot of foliage and then also some richer colors for this time of year. You'll need some masking tape, some wire cutters and a pair of scissors. So first of all, what we're going to do is take our masking tape and create a base for the flowers. We're going to make a grid with this tape. So you want to start by placing a piece of tape down the middle and then moving out towards the edges with one side and then do exactly the same on the other side. Once you have done it one way, you then want to go ahead and do it the opposite way and this will create little holes to put your flowers in. And then it's time to get creative. So you want to take your flowers and use your wire cutters to cut off the heads of the flowers or stems of the foliage. And it's just a matter of going round and just playing around with the placement of your flowers. What I found was to put the larger ones in first, then I went in with the foliage and then I just change things as I need to. Um, first of all, I think I put the smaller flowers in, but I decided to go back to the eucalyptus. I wanted more greenery in mine, so I kept it more that way. And then I added these darker flowers, as I say, just because of the time of the year. Now I'm not too sure what I'm using here, but I went round all underneath just to give that extra added touch and I think it turned out really, really pretty. I think it's something that can last for a very long time and can be changed up really easily for the seasons. So I really enjoyed this DIY. Next up I took this IKEA blanket and just added some pom-poms to it and I just thought it gave it a really cute touch. I mean everything looks better with pom-poms in my opinion. I am using a chunky yarn, some scissors and also these pom-pom makers. I know that you can use um, cardboard but I find these super easy and I do love a gadget. So pretty much you just place them together and wrap your yarn around one side. Once you have done that side you want to snip it off and then tuck that end underneath another piece of yarn and then you go ahead and do the same on the other side. So once you have completed the other side you simply close them together and clip the clips um, down and then comes the fun part where you can go around and snip your yarn to make it an actual pom-pom. Then what you want to do is take a long piece of yarn and slide it between the gap. I then go ahead and put a knot in it and I actually do this three or four times just to make sure that it's really, really secure. So that's really important that you do that. So go ahead and do that. Then you unclip it and then open out the clip and there is your pom-pom. Then all that's left to do is just give it a little bit of a trim, taking out any long bits, and then you're ready to sew it onto your blanket. So for the sewing on of the blanket, it's actually really easy to do. You want to thread up your darning needle, and then you want to go ahead and just place your needle through the corner of the blanket, 
Um, do this a couple of times and then you can thread the needle back through the pom-pom just to really secure it down. If you don't do that, it's going to be really, really floppy. So make sure that you pull that in. Then you want to go ahead and make a knot in your yarn so that you can tie it back off. And what I usually do is just thread the needle back through the pom-pom and snip it off with my scissors. You want to do that on all four corners or you could even do it all the way along the edge and you end up with this cute pom-pom blanket. And then the last DIY is this tassel basket. What you want to do is take an IKEA basket and some spray paint. Either go outside or somewhere well ventilated and you want to turn the basket inside out and apply a layer or two thin layers of uh, spray paint. Obviously you can see that I was doing another DIY here already. Um, but yes, you want to add a thin layer. While that's drying, you want to make your tassel. So you want to take a piece of yarn and attach it to something which is longer and then thinner. So this notebook was perfect. You want to take your other bit of yarn, which is still attached to the ball and wind it round. You want to make this quite um, thick and maybe an inch and a half wide. Untape your piece of yarn and you're going to make a knot in this. Once you've done your knot, bring it round to the top because this is going to be uh, the piece that you use to tie onto your basket. So do a knot or two or three knots in the top of there. Once you've done that, you're going to slide it off um, whatever you're using to make your tassel and you want to just carefully grab it in your hand because we're going to secure it now by placing a piece around the top. So grab your yarn and just slowly bring it round and then once you've gone round a couple of times, take the loose end and tie a couple of knots in there just to make it really secure. You then just want to go ahead and wind the yarn round as much as you want. I personally find that if you go round a little bit more to make this bit quite bulky, it actually looks better. Once you have done, snip off your yarn, take your darning needle and you're just going to thread this um, underneath the bit that you've just created and tie a knot in there as well just to make sure that it's really nice and secure. And once you have done that, you can go ahead and do the fun bit again, which is snip the yarn so that it actually creates your tassel. And then there you have your tassel. So all we need to do now is attach this to our basket and you're going to use those long pieces from the beginning and then just use your darning needle to poke through one of the holes on the basket. You do one side and then the other side and then all you have to do is tie a knot in the back. I do two or three knots just to make sure it's nice and secure and then you can snip off the excess yarn. So there you have your cute little basket. You could use it to put a plant in, you could use it for the blanket that you've just made or you can even have it to store your slippers so they're nice and easy access by the door. So there you go, they are my three IKEA DIYs for your home. I really hope that you like them. They include tassels, pom-poms, and flowers. What more could you want? <laughs> Don't forget to go and check out Lisa's video. I shall leave a link in the description box below. Say hello to her and let her know that you've come from my channel. But thank you so much for watching guys. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. And if you are new around here because you've just come over from Lisa's channel then hello. Probably should have said that at the start shouldn't I? But anyway I shall see you in my next video. Bye guys!